selfishness in words of love that should be obliterated harshly, like never asking why or counting ways. For those foolish words should be deleted along with thinking what one gets from love. As those dizzy words are egotistic, for one should not want reciprocation or to covet gains by selfish motives instead of offering to sacrifice by the triumphant ways of sweet kisses. I have known gratitude of tomorrow, screaming the words of fire and noises, like loud bells ringing with divinity, kissing away the other rough heartbreaks, given to another to set all right, stacking a thousand lonely nights on lips, that in the present seem quite obsolete, drowning the curses of gods and devils, for words of love lines grow to be tangled, while all who speak beyond find devotion. I have known curse words like an inferno, chilling like the hard wind of a blizzard, when smitten words could make two feel special, but it is thrown like weightless nothingness, emerging past the last time there was hurt, when thinking one is right and wrong again, with words that nurture and care by false trust, leaving short sentences that tease and taunt by the selfishness of cruel intentions, to shining answers words can never find. I have heard the nonsense of big cliches with batty thoughts like love is just a word or that those spoken are temporary when those words are a continuous war and that love lacks inner connectedness. But if those coverings were peeled away like the freckled pigment skins of onions, core elements would again be revealed and those in love would turn words to ashes beholding gardens outside selfishness.